Hi there, so um, what I want to show here is the new software synth that we've built in as an add-on to Extractor that you can use to reduce latency in, um, in Windows PCs. So if we go to the setup box, what we've got here is we've got my um, Extractor synth port, which is the new synth that we've installed, and that's not going to be your input device, it's going to be an external uh, input device so that be your USB um, that you've got plugged into the computer or in my case I've got a, a Yamaha MIDI interface connected to my drum kit it's the output device which is the crucial thing here if we were to record to a GS wavetable here an output device we'd get some pretty pretty bad latency so let's just try that now I'm going to play just a few a few bars of this drum exercise um, here we go Three, four. Okay, so that's already pretty hopeless, isn't it? We can hear that. And of course, not only hear it, we can see it when we analyze because it shows that all of my performances are late. So the problem there is that the internal sound card here, the wavetable synth, is just not fast enough uh, to cope with the input. <clears throat> now, if you've got a MIDI interface and you're playing to a, uh, a drum kit which has got sounds on it, like I have on the DD65 here, uh, or to a keyboard or to a MIDI guitar which has got sounds on it, that bypasses that problem and you remove all latency that way. Um, let me just um, give, that a, give that a spin now. Okay, so we'll play all the sounds directly from my drum kit. Here we go. Turn the volume on, that would help. There we go. So you can hear no latency there. Okay, and when you analyse, uh, other than when I was waiting to turn the volume up on my instrument, you can see that's all working perfectly. Okay, now similarly, we can, with this new synth that we've installed here on the computer, the extractor synth port, what we're effectively doing is, is putting a, a decent synth like the one on our drum kit or keyboard <clears throat> or MIDI guitar, much better than this, but it is actually installed on the computer. And we'll look at that in a second. Let's have a look at its performance. So I'm just because it's going to play with the drum kit. I'm going to turn the drum kit down. Here we go. This is going to play sounds on your computer using this uh, synth that we've created. Here we go. Two, three, go. So I'm playing a, a drum kit plugged in using a MIDI interface into the computer and then I'm triggering the sounds using our synth port. Okay, that's enough of that. And I think um, I didn't hear any discernible latency there. Let's have a look. No, there we go. Bit of dodgy playing here. Probably when I started talking. But you can see that I can get very good scores, very good responses there. So much better than the wavetable. Much better than the wavetable. <clears throat> okay. So if you've got controller keyboards with no sounds on them and you're inputting them into your computer using a USB connection, and when you play them at the moment, you're having to select the wavetable and getting pretty poor responses with your latency. This is a solution for you. Okay, So you are going to select your input device, say your MIDI cable, and then your output is the synth that's installed on your computer that we install, and that's how it runs. Now, one of the things you can do, uh, to, um, or one of the things that you just have to do to get it working properly, is to open up the first time you install uh, this, so you don't have to do it each time, you only have to do this once. This is the little box that you have to work with. So it's select the MIDI import input port. Now that will uh, be placed on your computer when you install the software. Now here's a little, this, this is the crucial bit here. So if I go, um, it's the latency we want to reduce. So um, what I want to do is get this latency down as low as possible and get this uh, fairly dreadful noise to test it. OK, 
Okay, so there's no latency or crackling there. Uh, take my word for that for the moment. Let's get some latency and tackling by reducing the latency as far as I can go. Okay, I'm going to go right down to 10 milliseconds. Now listen to the sound now. Okay, that's pretty ugly and crackly, isn't it? If I go up to 20 milliseconds, that's still a bit crackly and ugly. 30, still ugly. I think at this point, we've removed latency down to 40 milliseconds. So my computer is now optimized to work well at 40 milliseconds latency and that's the one I was just playing on and it, it, there was no discernible latency in the system there. So I've got that down as low as I can get it to and that works beautifully and that's the only setup, special setup you have to do. So when you download and install Extractor Synth to go and work alongside our Extractor software, whenever you load that up it will show it will show here in your dialog box. Okay, I'm going to select my output device from my drum kit and I want to play through there and I will get no discernible latency. Okay, that's quite a development for us. Okay, any problems? Just give me a shout. Cheers now.